So welcome to this video. Today we're going to do a little fun exercise. I will share the best results I've seen using Regain alone for men. So this is not for women. I'll do a separate video for that. So I'm going to share the best results for men. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to um, share my ideas as to why these particular people have had such great results. Keep watching. So before we begin, let's talk about something called the Norwood scale. This is something I'm going to refer to um, as I talk through the photos. Um, this is basically a scale to give an idea about the extent of hair loss. So you can see a picture of it here. Um, and obviously Norwood one is someone who's slightly bold and it gets progressively worse. So by the time you get to Norwood um, six, uh, that's somebody who's um, kind of 80% bold. Let me just say that um, these results I've compiled by visiting clinic websites uh, to see their results gallery, uh, by going on forums uh, to see the pictures people share. So this is basically sharing people's experiences. Am I in a position to say, yep, this, um, this person's photos are 100% legit, 100% real? No, I'm not in a position to say that, but we're assuming that everyone is honest and everyone shared the correct story uh, the truthful the truthful story with us so let's crack on so our first guy here um he's only been using uh, regain for 10 weeks so he started with general kind of frontal thinning and after 10 weeks you can already see the area especially the front becoming darker and uh, he's got some promising results already so i think this guy if he uses it for another six months he will get really really excellent results i'd expect that frontal area to be totally covered so our next candidate is um four months of use so this guy's been using it for four months and he started with quite significant thinning especially on the crown uh the front is also looking quite thin but the crown is really where it's um the significant uh, thinning and after four months, he's got some decent results, especially at the at the, um, at the front end. Uh, the crown is also looking good, but not as good as the front. Um, considering it's only been four months, I think um, if you come back um, to see this guy after one year, he will have some really, really good results. I don't think the crown will be completely covered, um, but I think he will have some really, really nice results, uh, especially on the front. So the next guy is at 12 months of use, so he's been using it for one year, and I wouldn't say he started, uh, when he was starting he was particularly bolding badly, uh, possibly on Norwood 2, he's got a bit of thinning at the front, I can't really see the crown, but the crown looks doesn't look too bad uh, from this angle, uh, but at 12 months his results look really spectacular. Um, the front is almost completely filled there's a little bit on the vertex on the right side that needs to be filled and uh, the crown we couldn't really see the crown to begin with anyway so you know the crown is actually looking good as well from here so I would say another six months uh, for this chap here and you wouldn't even know that he was uh, thinning at any stage really good result so the next fella is at one year as well and when I first saw this, I said, wow, incredible result. To get results like this with just using minoxidil is exceptionally rare. And to be honest, when I first saw it, I thought, come on, he must have had a transplant. He must have at least taken tablets along with the, with the minoxidil because these results look really, really exceptional. Uh, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt and let's assume that it's true and it's just minoxidil. So he started at Norwood uh, maybe three or four, um, quite bad thinning at the top. Um, the hairline is just about there, but is also thinning and um, receding as well. So he's got recession and thinning. And after 12 months, to be honest, you wouldn't know that this guy was ever thinning at any stage. He's got the hairline, he's got the, the coverage, uh, the hair looks thick, um, there's just, no sign he was ever thinning really incredible results uh, this guy here is actually two results for the same guy i believe um, 
one is at six months the one on the left and the one on the right is at 18 months so um, we can see the progress of one patient uh, from six months to 18 months and um, I don't know I think he must have dyed his hair in between the photos obviously and the result on the left um, he's got some thinning along the front but he's got worse thinning on the crown um, I would say maybe a Norwood 3 and when you go to 18 months to be honest you would not know this guy was receding at any point uh, he's got complete coverage uh, the crown is filled in nicely and the front is looking excellent he's got some really nice filling uh, on the front as well so really really good results the only thing I'm not sure about with this particular candidate is whether he brushed his hair forwards uh, on the second picture the 18 month picture because that was kind of skew uh, our opinion but maybe not really good result though so you've seen the pictures now um, amazing results um, and there's a few common themes uh, running across all the pictures number one is you see the best results from 12 months onwards so before 12 months the results are good but you can tell they're not at maximal uh, level yet the best result the, the best results we've seen are for 18 months 12 months to 18 months so that tells you that you have to be patient with this you cannot expect great results in six months or four months or ten weeks that's not going to happen and another thing I noticed is people varied in terms of where regain work best. Some people had better effect on the crown. Some people had better effect on the front. Uh, I think there's one lucky guy who had both coverage at the front and on the crown. So I suppose he's very lucky. And another thing you might notice is the people who had the best results are the people who started very early. So they did not wait till they became... Um, you know a Norwood four or five or six they did not wait till you know till they were very very bold they started early at the earliest sign uh, sign of uh, bolding or thinning so these people had the best results so that tells you that do not wait till you are completely bold it start as early as possible because um, the research I've seen shows that Regan is better at reviving weak hair it's not very good at regrowing hair where the hair follicle has already died it just doesn't do that that's the end of the video next week i'm going to try and do one for women so stay locked for that subscribe comments have a good day